behaviour, lots of tantrums. He just will not do anything I say. Don't push, don't push. Chains, aren't we? But we decided to make them into bracelets. Good morning, guys! It's a Friday. Once again, I haven't been vlogging very much, but anyway, we're going for it now. Um, so it's a Friday. Today is so nice because we have had a really, really busy week, as in one of those weeks where you don't stop in between any activity that you're doing. So it's just been in and out of the car. And the other day I counted that I had the boys in and out of the car like 12 times or something. It was crazy. But anyway, no preschool, no swimming, anything like that today. So we've had a really lazy morning. Um, me and Marley have been doing a lot of activities together, which I will talk to you about in a bit more detail, actually, when he isn't sitting next to me. Um, there's a reason behind that. But anyway, we've been doing that. We kind of slowly got dressed, slowly got ready. Felix is having a nap. And then at lunchtime, we're going to stroll down to a local kind of um, Italian restaurant that also has a soft play and meet a friend that I haven't seen in ages who I used to work with way before children. Um, and she's got two children of a similar age, so we're going to go and do that. And then this afternoon, I think, you know, we need to get a couple of bits in town and then we're just going to come back, chill, watch films. <coughs> that is brilliant, Marley. That is brilliant. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that is our day. Come along with us, and I. What are we going to do next, Marley? Where are we? We're just going to. Should we go and watch some TV? Go and watch some TV before the little one gets up. I don't want this. I don't want one for you, so I want one for me. I would love one for me. Should we make another one? Yeah, okay, for you. Brilliant. Right, so. Marley is settled with the film, so I thought I would just come and have a quick sit down chat with you all and let you know where we are at. Because I think I've had chats with you all before about behaviour and how much it stresses me out and on the whole Marley is such a good boy. He's so kind hearted, he's literally got a heart of gold and like I said in one of my Instagram posts yesterday, he's really easily hurt so he gets quite emotional and things like that. I think he might get that from me because he's a worrier. But anyway, the last couple of weeks we have just had 
bad behaviour, lots of tantrums. He just will not do anything I say, literally, from the minute I get up to the minute I go to bed. Every single little thing is a battle. Um, and I, I'm the type of parent who, I guess, I would class myself as quite a strict parent. Um, so I do have very strict rules and boundaries in place, and we do have punishments. Um, you know, and a few people have said to me before that they think that we are, myself and my husband, are quite hard on the kids. And obviously we're so loving with them and, and we love them more than anything. So it's not that, you know, we're just horrible to them by any means. And discipline is, a diff, you know, everyone has different opinion on it and everyone has different opinion. just said that, opinions. It's, it's your choice what you do with your child. But for us, we've always been very, very strict and kind of our, our rules are in place and they don't move. And then I was on Instagram the other day and I saw a post and I can't remember who it was from, which is really annoying. I might try and put it in my Instagram stories today. And it was just a picture and it, and it said, instead of telling them stop crying, try using all these different, you know, words like I'm here for you, I know that you're upset, I can help you, I want to be here next to you, I know that you don't want to cuddle me, but I'll just sit here so you know I'm here. And I was kind of flicking through and it just suddenly stood out at me and I thought to myself, I think I might be getting it a little bit wrong. Um, those rules, those boundaries can still be in place. But right now, I think that he actually is really, really overwhelmed. A lot's going through his mind at the moment and he just needs to be talked to in a different way. I guess three is quite tricky, isn't it? Because... I don't talk to him like a baby anymore. We chat all day. He's like my little buddy and sometimes you can forget that still, just because his speech is really good and he can talk to me properly, that actually he is still a three-year-old. So we are trying something new. We started yesterday and we started today. You know, kind of using all of those language techniques and just trying to distract him away and get his attention as opposed to him getting deep into a massive tantrum and crying for hours and hours because he doesn't understand. So, you know, yesterday he didn't want to have his tea and he was just screaming and screaming on the floor and I was so angry and I just wanted to go in and say, just stop, like, stop crying. And then I thought about it and I thought about our afternoon and our day. He'd been to preschool, he had walked all the way into town, he had met a friend, he had walked all the way back from town. That's a lot for a little three-year-old. And then I'd given him a tea, which he's not particularly keen on. So I just sat him on my lap and I said, I understand this is really hard for you. You know, you're so, so tired and I do understand that and you don't want this tea and I understand that too. But what if I come and sit with you and I will help you with it? And almost instantly his attention was on me. Instantly. And he came in and we made a game out of tea and he ate it all. Um, so that's what I'm going with. So I almost feel like I'm changing my parenting technique a bit. And... And... I, you know, like I say, the same thing, rules will still apply and we're very strict on manners and saying pleases and thank yous and sharing and things like that. But I just want to change the way we do it and I've had a quick ch uh, chat with my husband about it and I think he agrees too. And so far so good. So it's probably been about 24 hours since I've started doing it and I have actually seen a massive difference in him. So that's what I'm going to do. I'd love to know what you guys do, things like that. Like I say, everybody... I don't want anyone to get the wrong impression with this piece of footage and think that I'm just a horrible mum and that I'm really, really strict. I do honestly believe that disciplining your child is every parent's choice, every family's choice, how you do it, and it depends hugely on the child. Um, but we all get it wrong sometimes, don't we? And I think I might have got it a little bit wrong. So I'm going to be trying to do things a little bit better. I'm going to be trying to think about my language, and we'll just see. And I will keep you all updated. What are you doing? <laughs> I say thing I never thing of the toy. Oh. Right, the washing's finished. Let me go and sort that out. What have you got in there? Daddy? Yeah. I got my washing.
two white cow boys from soft play. Are you tired? Are you tired, Marley? What do you say? Good boy, thank you. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, are you trying to put the lens cap back on? We are back from our friends, and Marley has been so good today. Just so, so good. I'm really, really proud of him. So I think that our new technique is working. Um, I am just about to get the boys tea ready and then do a work call and then hopefully it will be time to have a glass of wine and relax, all being well. portion it's Ben's portion sorry oh dear the lights so the lights really bad in here I think we're gonna have to get some brighter top lights just for filming anyway we are gonna eat our Chinese and sit and watch some TV I went up to bed took all my makeup off put my ultra thick moisturizer on can you see it shining blinding you all anyway went to bed completely forgot to end the vlog and seeing as I've been trying to vlog all of this week and then I've made it to like half the day and got distracted I wanted to finish this vlog and it's been a really nice day actually um, really successful day with Marley, lovely catching up with a friend and then kind of last minute arrangement to see another friend it was just really nice I'm absolutely shattered after this week it has been literally full on um, and I was really looking forward to a more chilled weekend and plans have changed things have changed so um tomorrow is going to be a little bit busy again but nonetheless i'm going out tomorrow night with my girlfriend so i'm so looking forward to that um oh can you see my cat you don't see this cat very often this is molly molly say hi say hi yeah <laughs> molly um is so good with the kids but she doesn't like them at all so in the daytime she's upstairs she kind of sleeps upstairs under the bed a lot of the time in my little clothes basket and she sleeps there and then literally as soon as the children are in bed well as soon as I've closed their door she walks downstairs with me and she'll stay with me um and also sweet and a bit a bit annoying sweet Bit annoying. Anyway, she will stay with me um, and Ben all night. It's so sweet. And then during the night, she'll sleep in the spare room. But funnily enough, if either of the boys are up or crying or anything, she's there. She sits with me and with them for the whole time. So she's really sweet. But anyway, I am rambling. I am so tired. I feel a bit delirious. Um, so I am going to go back up to bed now, where I was just a minute ago. Thank you guys so much for watching as always um, and if you do like this video do press the thumbs up button and if you'd like to then do press subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. Bye! You asked them to subscribe Molly. Say subscribe please. Yeah!